Bole Bole is a, is a song uh, written by a, a Brazilian mandolinist they, named uh, Jacob Dubangelim. And he plays a style of music called choro. And I fell in love with choro music when I was about 18 years old. And over the past uh, several years, I've worked up dozens of these Brazilian choro tunes. And I've been very fortunate to uh, travel down to Brazil on several occasions. And I've got a lot of friends uh, in the blues scene down there, but uh, all of the blues guys down there really love the choro music too, because it's sort of like their, uh, their version of uh, jazz, like New Orleans has jazz, because it's from the same time period. And uh, they've got a lot of similarities with each other. <laughs> My name is Joe McLaren, and people call me Little Joe McLaren. This is my son, Johnny Lee McLaren, and he's my drummer. Uh, I've been playing a style of blues they call Piedmont style blues since I was Johnny's age, which is eight years old. And it's a style of blues music that was very popular in the 1920s and 1930s in the East Coast of the United States. The gumbo blues 
was uh, originally recorded by a fella from New Orleans named Smiley Lewis. And I've been a big fan of Smiley Lewis for many, many years. I've always loved his records. And he was sort of an unfortunate individual to where he would record a song like Blue Monday. And then a couple months later, Fats Domino would hear it and say, oh, well, I've got to record that. So it would always overshadow Smiley. And it happened with a lot of Fats Domino's songs. Smiley would record them, Fats Domino would do them, and then poor Smiley would get kind of overshadowed by old Fats. <laughs> Creek is a song by uh, the uh, self-proclaimed originator of jazz, Jelly Roll Morton, from New Orleans, Louisiana. And he was really something, something else. And I think that the Deep Creek is really one of his masterpieces of the blues. And it's not a very well-known tune of his. He's got songs that are more famous, but in my opinion, the Deep Creek is really one of his masterpieces. Thank you. 
was inducted to the Oklahoma Jazz Hall of Fame in 2013, I believe. And it was after I had uh, taken a tour of the Persian Gulf with a quartet that I brought along with me, including my father on bass, Ron McRory on the drums, and David Burnson on harmonica. And we spent uh, four or five weeks in the Persian Gulf region. And uh, on that tour, we happened to play the first public concert in the history of Saudi Arabia. And that was really something special. So uh, I think that that was something that the Oklahoma Jazz Hall of Fame deemed worthy of in inducting me in. All right, A Little Bird is a song that's a favorite of my kids. And it's an old pop tune it was from the 1940s. And I originally heard it done by a woman named Blue Lou Barker. And she was the, uh, the wife of Danny Barker, who was a jazz guitar player and a banjo player in a lot of bands out of New Orleans. And um, also was the guitarist for Cab Calloway's band for many years. A little bird told me that you love me And I believe that you do This little bird said I'm really falling Falling for no one but you Well, there's no use denying I might as well confess all the chicks I know, my dear, I'm sure I love you best. This little bird said that we'll be married, and I'll tell you just what we're going to do. We'll have a pretty little cottage not so far off as dim night movie stars. Great name pup, we'll call him Ace, lying there by the fireplace. The goldfish pond in a wishing well. Heaven and the things gonna work out swell. A little bird told me that you love me, and I believe that is true. Sure, I love you best. This little bird said we'll have a family, and I'll tell you just what we're gonna do. We'll have a pretty little cottage, not so far off as the night movie star. A great name pup, we'll call him Ace, lying there by the fireplace. A goldfish pond and a wishing well. Everything, the things gonna work out swell. A little bird told me that you love me. And I believe that you do And I believe that it's true And now I know that it's true All right, Traveling Mood is, uh, is a New Orleans R&B tune that I originally heard done by a guy named Snooks Eaglin, who I had the very, very uh, fortunate opportunity as a small boy to, to get to know Snooks and hang out with him. He was a blind guitar player and singer, and there was, he was incredible. And unfortunately, not very well known outside of New Orleans. He was very popular in New Orleans. And uh, years later, I realized that it wasn't Snooks' song at all. It was actually done by a fella named Wee Willie Wayne. But, uh, but I've always thought it was a great song. And I'm 
I'm gonna bring her home with me She said that she would never leave me Now she gone way to grieve me I will find her sleeping And she come at midnight creeping Gonna find her Well I'm gonna find my baby And I'm gonna bring her home with me Portuguese is eduque a, and in English that translates to it is what it is, or roughly that. And this was written by a clarinetist who was popular in the 30s up through the 50s down in Brazil. His name was Luiz Americano. And he appeared, he made his own recordings and he appeared in a lot of other great recordings of, of that time period down in Brazil. And I think that this particular song is a very great example of what Choro music is uh, really all about. It has the, um, the three sections with the key modulation, and I think it's just a very well put together uh, Choro tune. <laughs> Thank you. 
Wildcat was uh, is a very early jazz recording. It was done uh, by Sidney Bechet. It was one of Sidney Bechet's first recordings with uh, the Clarence Williams band. And later on, after I'd learned the song, I found out that it that the authorship is none other than Clarence Williams and Fats Waller wrote it. And I believe it was recorded very early on, like maybe 1920. Thank you. 